Hi guys, how's it in the name of Jesus Christ? It's your girl, Cranke Gay Garabo. I hope you're good, I hope you're peachy, I hope you're Stella, and I hope you're in a neat little bunch. I am on a mission to do multiple things today as we speak. I want to change out my hair. I told you guys that I don't want to stay in the same protective style for too long because last time I got really matted. And since I'm feeling like it today, which is really ever, because you know, I'm sometimes just so out of it that I can't do anything else. Since I have the mood, to do it let's just do it and let's do a much simpler hairstyle but i'm also going to be mixing up um what do they call this thing i'm also going to be mixing up product yeah for both my hair and my skin um my body the skin on my body it's very dry very ashy i've just been using because of not laziness but sorrow i've been using aquas cream uh that doesn't even have glycerin in it nothing just aquas cream and i've gone all ashy i cannot take care of my face and then neglect my body so we're making a, a, a cream f uh, using whatever we have around i am an advocate of if anything doctors also agree this is one doctor that i went to go see i remember guys recently i was sick uh and so i went to the gp and he rather gave me dermatological advice and he recommended that for skincare i use for for moisturizing my my face i use some cerave moisturizer uh and he said that he, he would he prescribed for me rather the body one instead of the face one because it was cheaper yes guys i've got underarm hairs y'all just gonna have to deal i have i'm going nowhere so i really don't care to shave one day's one day anyway whatever yeah he recommended that i i, I buy rather the body moisturizer because it's cheaper instead of the face one because it's pretty much all the same stuff but the the face one is more expensive so i believe as that doctor believes uh in that body face doesn't really matter insofar as uh you know just read the ingredients so i i have in the past used stuff for hair stuff for the face on the body i've used stuff for the hair on the body i have used yeah just by reading ingredients so i am going to be mixing up a body cream that is nourishing of my body uh yeah with the baseline of the aquas cream all up in your girl utilizing some things that are meant for the hair but they're gonna be going on my body because the ingredients are great um it's nothing really here for face my face stuff is like face stuff and we're leaving it there we are creating an spf uh. i apologize i have no decorum because what are we gonna do with decorum in the middle of so much spiritual attack i'm going to be creating an spf hefty body moisturizer using my spf 60 heavily white cast sunscreen that uh i don't know like why are you so white casty anyway whatever i don't know how to open this thing doesn't matter there's another one um over there i've got an spf 50 sunscreen just kind of hovering around in the wardrobe there lena it's for my face and it's a continuous spray i wish i could open it so i could pour some of the stuff into my little concoction whatever so the body's also being catered to, but we're also going to be having a discussion about what in the world under heaven is going on in this uncomfortable earth. Like, I'm tired, I'm exhausted, yes, the, all the dreams I get, coupled with the inebriation, the exhaustion of the actual body, like, in Dabuguti I'm being attacked, rammed into as with a truck by witches. Y'all know I can't deal, I can't stand them, I don't like them. Uh, and uh, they, they, they are full of carbon monoxide, otherwise known as the preferred gas. To describe how witches be, they're a silent killer because they love to also gaslight their victims. After they did it, they sing you Shaggy's song, It Wasn't Me. And I'm like, whatever, chick, uh, whatever, dude. Let's go grab the SPF 50. I forgot it back there. I brought all my ingredients here. And then I'm like sitting Lana. So we're going to be doing here alongside having a chit chatter. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I might even just kind of run you through what, I, what I'm doing, what I'm mixing up, so maybe you might want to take some advice, hints, nip, nip bits, so that, like, like, you don't end up having omme dry in Jefela for, like, a body, but your face is, like, all nourished, we're not doing it. Guys, look at the white cast your sunscreen, but it's also the fact that my skin has gone light, but we're trying to deep transition from my skin going light, I mistakenly lightened my skin with an excess of kojic acid and we stopped using that product so hopefully we're gonna get back our skin tone because we're not trying to be kelly kumalo or whatever let me go grab that sunscreen one minute here it is skin nivea sun protect whatever sun allergy protect people are allergic to the sun for really 
Whatever. Mm, we're gonna use this one because the other one, it, the spray bottle does not close. Sorry, does not unscrew. I cannot like remove this thing, can I? No, I'm not even gonna try, like for crying out loud. I don't even know how they filled up the spray bottle, frankly. So we, we can't use my SPF 60 that I use for my face. So we'll use the SPF 50 to mix that in. It'll probably dilute it and make it less of an SPF, if at all it has an SPF quality in it. I don't know guys, I'm always mixing stuff up. Like that's my life, okay? And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. If it doesn't work, it's it's the body, it's not the face. So it's not a train smash. All right, guys, you know what? I'm exhausted. I'm tired. Witchcraft is like a whole thing. And I'm just like, whatever. So we're changing my hairstyle. Uh, I'm, this one, I'm not running with it anymore because it takes too long to bring down. It is like high maintenance. I want something very low maintenance. Um, my hair has grown to a certain extent, but I did not allow my protective style to hang around in this ecosystem for as long as last time. So it's not as much, as much growth as last time, but nonetheless, there'll probably be a lot more growth um, retention, length retention, because we are less matted. Amen. So Aquas Cream is brand spanking new. There's also Aquas Cream in here that's been mixed with whatchamacallit. It has been mixed with glycerine, the one that I've been using to moisturize my hands. We're just gonna go dump it in a bucket, uh, in a little squittle ghee like we're making dough, except like instead of dough. Oh, this Omni Gold, I gotta add, this is what I've stopped using, guys. I'm tempted to use it in my body moisturizer, but super diluted because it's got these beautiful exfoliating properties and i'm like really if you cannot if you can like exfoliate my body why not do that but i don't want to find my body looking like kelly kumalo so i don't really know what's going on like i don't want to lighten myself to to oblivion i just want an even skin tone so sizobona cannot be putting kojic acid in hair however because we like our hair jet black i don't know what this is gonna do on keratin versus um you know facial skin and whatnot but we don't want our hair going any other color but super black um so we don't want to put any lightness in our hair these are just containers makoti koti that are empty just in case i've got too much product well this one's not empty there's like leftover product in there probably gonna finish today yeah but like the rest of them are empty and i'm really just gonna be using them to put my product in if i've got an excess of product otherwise the original stuff is gonna stick around so let me just like run you through the ingredients before we start talking. The things that I'm putting in here. So this is my, my braiding spray sheen thing. I absolutely love it by African Pride. You can go check it out. I've already explained it before. It's got these amazing ingredients in it. I'm just going to be using it to detangle like, you know, the water component of LCO, liquid uh, conditioner. Uh, cream, uh, conditioner slash cream, O being oil. So I use this for my L. Uh, it's got really lovely, lovely ingredients. Let me just read you some of them. Uh, it's got water, propylene, glycol, blah, blah. Okay, the ones that you don't care about, I'm not going to mention them, but it's got olive uh, oil. It's got tea tree oil. It has got peppermint leaf ex extract. It's got nettle extract. It's got rosemary leaf extract. It has got lapa root, a betula alba extract, rosa canina fruit extract, chondrus crispus carrageen extract. It's got tussaligo fara, cults fruit flower extract, whatever, prunus, whatever, wild cherry bark extract. Uh, it has got dandelion extract. And then some other ingredients that, you know what, like Echinia, whatever, Crispus, it's got aloe extract, it's got brewer's yeast, it's got chamomile extract, it's got matrixiana, whatever, flower extract, blah, it's got some lovely natural extracts, like I did not even read all of them because some of them are just too hard to pronounce. This is what I use for my L and I love the tingling sensation it gives my scalp, but believe it increases blood circulation alongside hair growth, like, you know, stimulation and it's just like this lovely thing that we're running with, okay? So that's what I'm putting on my hair. I'm going to be putting in... So I brought a bowl. Yeah, just in case you were wondering. Not lazerini over here. Lazerin, okay. Vitamin C oil that I bought at the Chinatown um, uh, with niacinamide. It's got vitamin C and niacinamide, right? So like, that's what's good. I don't want to be reading your ingredients. I just got to go, go, um... It's got FC whatever palmonate mineral oil hydrogenated olive oil tocopherol acetate so that would be vitamin E and then it's got like a scoble palmonate that is an oil soluble um form of vitamin C and it's got nice in the mind like ugh, okay whoa so much reading and then this one has is called vitamin E oil oh no please oh no oh no oh no 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 
this one has got uh it's a vitamin e oil it's also got excessive the whatever mineral whatever mineral oil hydrogenated olive oil tocopherol acetate again uh, that would be vitamin e perfume and then sodium sodium hyaluronate so this one has got hyaluronic acid and vitamin e oh come on stop it and then the other one has got uh niacinamide and uh, vitamin e alongside vitamin c so i just kind of mix these things up to give my body a boost my body a boost because my face is the only thing getting a boost but right now it's got a white cast sunscreen on it so you can't see the boost um unless i switch on so much lighting that y'all can't see the white cast i'm in all right cool um this is a regular mixing bowl from the kishion and uh we're gonna be mixing in it some other things we've got a whole bunch of paper towels lest we should need them uh you know after all we are working on a bed i don't have my own table and whatnot and i'm not ready to change bed linen so we are hoping for the best we are hoping for you sorry i just i love to break out into song y'all know that's a thing okie dokie so that's what i'm gonna be mixing it up in to make my little jazzy body moisturizer that i also am going to every so often be putting in my hair because i have got a hair routine a regimen that i do where really interchangeably we blonk stuff on the body and in the hair because it's got all these wonderful ingredients there's nothing in here uh, other than it being an empty shell uh i'm considering putting a whole tub like omni gold and diluting it heavily like the kojic acid and whatnot and putting it in my body moisturizer for the exfoliating properties and the fact that it did you know it, it what do you call this no this cream it flattened my pitted scarring so i'm like it's obviously good for skin it's just that when you use like excessive amounts of it it just makes you a yellow bone so i don't know what to do with this i just can't throw it away it is good um just not to be used daily so we don't know what we're gonna do i mean if i dilute it like super hard not is it still gonna make me a yellow bone <laughs> you know uh, so i'm thinking of mixing that in but only to the face not much to the body cream not my hair because we don't want our hair being lightened glycerin a form of a humectant ain't nobody got money to be putting hyaluronic acid in a body lotion too expensive okay cool beans and bananas like that's all yeah oh and i also bought some brought some avocado oil because like who does not dig avocado oil and we're gonna put that in the hair and we're also gonna put that in the hallelujah amen that's what's good we're gonna be putting that in, in the body oh cool beans guys i like i've told you all the ingredients now we're just gonna talk about what under heaven is going on in the world mm, basically what ministries apart one minute basically what ministries are in these streets trying to do while we do here so when i'm mixing up just trust that i'm doing something valuable okay guys yeah yo um do you want to see my little squatalki are you pedantic about that this phone is as lowly down as it possibly can be there's just no getting around that i'll just keep bringing the squirtle key up to show you what's going on oh and don't nobody leave the wooden spoon out why would we do that so yeah guys you know what Nim? there is a great deal of fatigue in my bones oh goodness i greeted in the name of christ did i put caveats out there okay let me put my caveats out there they're important to put out um I have got these captions that are not accurate all the time i'm not gonna take them out because i frankly prefer them that's what's good i don't have time to edit them so have mercy sometimes they're irreverent and they use a small g for god and i'm like what are you doing however with the name of jesus they tend to kind of like leave that with like you know a, a capital j so they're also picky and choosy and i don't know what's going on and nobody cares anymore okay cool beans and bananas uh secondly my silence detector oh no that's not an issue anymore i found a way to deal with the silence of my words being taken out so i i apologize if you listen to me daily you will understand what i'm talking about if you are listening to me for the first time today you're probably like what is what she's saying hey stick around ultimately i make some pretty impressive points like i'm good at reaching conclusions don't give up on me okay um and then when it comes to um, oh my fizzite i'm wearing application makeup yeah that's what's good so if it bounces up and down off my face understand it's an app it's not the real deal i ain't got no money i ain't got no dough to be wearing real makeup and even if i did have money and dough i still would not wear it because i care for the man yo wow like really like it's okay okay cool beans and bananas plus i'm not a fan of makeup not foundation and concealer and stuff like that i feel like it messes up with the skin and every so often it gives uh, people who are acne prone more acne it's like really like fine you know it's k like it's fine we'll do bare face it's all right okay all righty moving right on along this is such a cute container like it deserves to be preserved anywho anyhow yeah i've said all my caveats now let's just speak 
guys you know what ne? like i'm done like if it is a, i keep saying i'm done like proper and it clearly appears as if though i'm not really done am i now i got feds uh, even though i want to be done but i really okay let me just rather say it like this i desire deeply and richly to be done with this world with with witches with all of their incendiary and insensitive activity it's not finishable it appears and given that that's like a whole thing uh i guess we're here to just keep on wrapping and wrapping some more okay listen up y'all i had <laughs> yazi i don't know why people just don't want to repent like it's just so much easier to go out like that you know what i mean like it should just stop already because the thing about refusing to like seize hostilities against the kingdom of heaven or seize hostilities against other human individuals that have not had random insanity coming is you tend to pile on yourself a lot more and like you know ridiculousness when you push when you continue on in an a nefarious stance you just worsen the circumstance the ecosystem do you understand how can i describe how witches are i don't know if you guys have seen yes it's a brand spanking new tub of aqueous cream i don't know if you guys have seen the movie and if at all you haven't really i would not implore you to go watch it because it's just total rubbish but i happened upon that rubbish anyway so i guess i get to use it as an analogy there is this like gangster movie all right called the fly you guys it's called the fly and the lead character therein is this like mad experimental scientist that i believe is experimenting with perhaps a time machine or some for something some machine where he wants to display or prove that he can basically move his body from one place to another yeah um without really accounting for extraneous factors that might really just kind of bust a cap in the knee of his frankensteinic experiment and this okima bob got the aquas cream out here smelling like nothing okay yeah no this guy ne he goes on right ahead and gets like mad scientist in his own little machine okay he gets in his own little machine but unfortunately before he can start his machine play his machine uh some fly like just kind of like hovers around the ecosystem where he's at and enters the time machine with him or the like teleportation machine with him some machine that moves a body from one place to another all right mm. and this oki like initially first he does the experiment with like some inanimate object and it fire and it successfully transfers over to another place then he puts himself in there unfortunately however as he is in there he goes in there with a fly by mistake a fly goes in there by a parcel right and then like as the movie progresses everything is just so gangster disgusting like that's why i would not implore you to go and watch that movie like really spare yourselves just listen to what i'm saying and trust that that's what happened in that movie it's an old school movie anyway and if you're that high definition chick or dude you're not even going to be impressed with the quality so just stay away from it but yeah this guy gets in this like machine eh? all right and then like tra teleports successfully and he's like jumping up and down feeling all like you know impressive until like as time progresses he starts to like become essentially like a fly like it's so gross you know, he starts to like like sweet stuff you know he's eating a whole bunch of donuts and like drinking his coffee with so much sugar and basically the like diet of insensi right ew yeah so first it's him eating all of these sweet things and then it like graduates to like some ominous thing level where oh the dude is out you're getting sticky fingers like not like the kleptomaniacs that witches are but literally as in like sticky fingers and sticky feet to enable him to i don't know like crawl up a wall yeah basically all the like tactics and body abilities that flies got like what this dude is at your roman around like in scenes you guys it's so disgusting it's like proper boss disgusting like we're thinking boss disgusting um he, the guy you know he has to die at some point he gotta go you know what i mean he gets killed by his love interest because he manifests and metamorphosizes into something so incredibly like menacing that oh unfortunately we gotta pull the trigger and kill you he had to end up getting killed by like his girl because he was literally 100 morphing into intensity 
Oh, hey, guys. This guy, we forgot it like power pie. Like, what? Imagine that. His eyes getting all bug eyed, like, for real. Like, when a person says that you're looking bug eyed, I believe they're talking about how you like you look kind of surprised. <laughs> no, not as a metaphor, as in like he proper got bug eyes. Yo, guys. Yes, isn't it disturbing? Disturbing. And I watched this movie, Killing One. Now, how in the world does somebody not stay in my hand from that? How does somebody not be like, oh, in terms of the nightmare? Keep the children away from these things. I watched it on regular viewing television during, I guess, normal hours. Keep on going. Why didn't they stop us? Whatever. It's an old school movie. Like, it could have been, like, released in the 80s or something. Maybe late 70s. I don't know. It's just gross. All right. Mm. Yeah, mad scientists are you experimenting with a teleportation machine and then in comes and Sensi and then Pagani inside his little machine and then booyah the guys are flying now oh snap otherwise known as singularity like proper he is now one and the same thing with the Pagani one and the same thing with the fly guys that's singularity that is the equivalent of tanaman of singularity like in artificial intelligence singularity is the phenomenon where there really is no end to what it is that ai can do now that it has merged with human intelligence and the combobulated thing that is now a singular thing that is independent of us monitoring it or controlling it can essentially just kind of take over the world like pinky and the brain um at least attempt anyway it never really happened that's why it's like pinky and the brain because god is in control you know what i mean yeah guys so i mean like i'm um, pagani right yeah people in the account they're like that mad scientist guy like out here coming up with some kind of like why why do you want to teleport you know humanity i'm sorry like god gave you like a whole earth you know the Lord gave you a whole planet, guys, and he was like, you know what, go out there, be fruitful, multiply, just be merry, just go and be jolly, hop up and down this planet like a kangaroo, um, do you, but it would be really great if you did not eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, don't do more, stop experimenting, I've given you an earth, I've given you dimensions, I've given you rules, I've given you, um, what is this, time and space, I've given you the laws of nature, uh, you know, to merge yourselves with them, as mere mortals like roam around freely as much as you want do you girl do you guy yeah but like just don't touch certain things it would be so totally ideal if you did not touch certain things i mean people went and touched certain things like you know these things are so scary as well that you touch it's like really if it does not make time and space sense don't be brave i was reading some article on Cora, because I read Cora quite a lot. Is it called Cora's Digest or what? It's, it's undigestible sometimes, even though they call it a digest. Anyway, whatever. Here in Lanz, the Garabo consuming undigestible stuff that's ultimately going to come out on the other side. A whole and undigested like fiber. Yeah. An article in Cora's Undigestible. Where it is that some lady, like somebody wrote in a question, you know how Cora is like question and answer? It's like a question and answer like random joint, I, you know, I, I always answer like why my, my stuff always come out dripping, dripping, dripping? Just come out, all of you, all of you, all of you, ah. Anyway, whatever, I guess that's just where the word waste was invented. In product, um bottles that make it impossible for you to spill out all of the product anyway i guess you know all of this stuff of suffering in my life has made me a little bit um price sensitive and product sensitive now i'm the type of person to squeeze out toothpaste out of the tube if they all the way to the very end to a point of rolling it at the back where before then get that tube just in so far as it started to give me grief in coming out you've made me price sensitive and i don't like it because it kind of like borders on being miserly anyway core is undigestible somebody writes in a question okay on some how they cora what's up so uh do do dead people know that they're dead I mean, like when somebody goes and asks a question like that, I don't even know why Cora recommends some of the questions that it recommends to me. Do I look like the kind of person that reads that kind of nonsense? But that's just the thing about Cora. Like YouTube, sometimes you end up in a dingy part of it that you never signed up for because you would not stop scrolling. That's me. I would not stop scrolling and I happened upon certain portions, read them, and now I keep on getting recommended random rubbish of that nature. Anyway, it's uneasy, but it's fine. I don't have to read it, but sometimes I can't help but read it because like I'm being at your drawn to a space. Okay. Yeah, this guy's actually asking, do ghosts know 
that they're alive all i could think was it is appointed unto man to die once and thereafter is the judgment there are no ghosts dude Ugh. but i guess the like chunk of the earth don't know that right so there's some female response you know she's like oh the other day i was in church i was in church i was like my point exactly the great apostasy is here yeah that's what's good when you are just sitting in a church and you see a ghost and you don't start to like cast stuff out in the name of jesus you're not a christian you don't know the scriptures you don't know that we're not supposed to be hanging out in our ecosystem with those things like they don't make sense like you don't just get to see a ghost in church and like smile to it like who is teaching you doctrine that preacher that pastor that person standing in front needs to be fired for crying out loud how about we cast them out from among us because he is not training parishioners to understand that it is appointed unto man to die once and thereafter is the judgment so if any child woman man you know baby in the church is out just seeing a ghost the church is in bad need of a prayer vigil with fasting and everything to drive that spirit from out of us but now this chick is out you're hanging out with her trying to make herself look cool because she sees dead people and then seeing dead people does not freak out like the rest of us listen to this female's response okay oh guys i love baking and this is like baking look at the one two one three almost hey i feel like a manufacturer like an like a whole factory just actually making cream what anyway whatever mm, it looks like uh, uh what do you what was you know when you whisk egg and it gets all fluffy baby time you're not djing egg egg baby time egg souffle hey angers i feel like I, I just messed up there for a minute mm -hmm. like situation yeah guys no chickies are just responding to this like question if it was up to actually i have an account with quarter one of these days ne? yeah i just like yeah because i'm all registered yeah i'm signed in can't respond i can't wait to look about biblical but you see i don't have time i don't have time my youtube i've removed comments because i give out the nonsense yeah but to that don't believe i'm not interested in unbelievers that are going to deny that they're going to hell it's like where's the king find out later sister gelang nas katisako i'm not going to argue with you i'm not going to get into a cockpit and fight battling one another rapidly too i'm not doing it i don't like warring with people that are ignorant especially considering i'm going through so much like i'm suffering so we're not doing it i'm saying mm. yeah so i would i want it like so one of these days i told i i'm gonna like look and i'm gonna cut my fingernails and scrub some people like with the king on some hair ever tongue about the wrong question the wrong question do ghosts know they're dead wrong question ghosts are not living among us get your doctrine right sister girl get your doctrine right brother boy do it do it Ooh, look at this here's the vitamin e oil young young and alana hey sweet again it's so perfumed now i can smell it from a distance but like i said this aqua cream smells like nothing we need to make stuff smell like something that's okay i like billion me i like fragrance i like to smell lovely isn't she lovely isn't she wonderful who doesn't want that who 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 hey she has that lost driblet they're getting a full new pool my in all my products i will make sure that i don't get my last bit of vitamin e oil come out vitamin e vitamin e don't do me dirty don't do me dirty dribble out dribble out dribble out like they lay <laughs> like a soccer player dribbling <laughs> anyway guys whatever mm. so first and foremost the question was messed up it was towed up from the flow up but i mean you know our body ignorant but the response was even more towed up from the flow up this female be out just speaking to this unfortunate guy who now his soul was extra lost because of that response extra lost he was already lost this chick then sent him into the grander abyss like into a darker part of the black hole Hey, Batu. She's like, one day upon a time, I was sitting in the church. And then I saw like a little girl. She could have been about 11 years old. And I just smiled at her. And because I smiled at her, she walked towards me. And I just kept quiet and carried on listening to the sermon. While she just stood there throughout the entire time during church. And then we left. I went home. I never saw her again. But I feel like she acknowledged me. Because she saw that I was there. She knew that she was dead. And she found comfort in standing next to me. I was like, yo, chicken pizza is no ghost yeah but don't be afraid be very afraid people that pride themselves here on the planet about not being scared of things that other people are scared of i'm sorry be afraid be very afraid like people that pride themselves in the fact that they can hang out in the presence of a ghost making like the kid walk with the sixth sense on some i see dead people girl that ain't right 
fine. Yo, you should be scared. Why aren't you scared? You gonna give yourself bravery, eh, Abatum? The Bible says, Fear not, for I am with you. As I walk through the valley of the shadow of darkness, thou shalt fear no evil, for thy am with thee. For I am with thee. Hallelujah. I can keep on trying. I can tell my situation in a computer. I don't know why it keeps on like switching off on me. Mm. No, the Lord is the one that says, like, be not afraid, be not very afraid. For I am with you. When you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, um, it's also written in Hosea 4 8, Uguti, my people perish for a lack of knowledge. That's what the Bible says, that human beings are in these streets dying, passing away, because they don't know Jack. Okay? And when you get cut off, for, sorry, when you don't know nothing, when you don't know Jack, yeah, and you start to perish because you don't know Jack, the Lord is going to cut you off from the land. That's what's good. So it is a very important for people to know stuff, to find things out, so that they can know what to avoid and to know what not to fear. If at all you are seeing ghosts, you should be afraid. If there is no solution to getting rid of them because they're not supposed to be here these random entities are far wiser far smarter far more you know i don't know what's the word that i'm looking for just kind of like clued up on the cosmos and the ecosystem and the universe than you they're ancient they've been around for a minute they also don't pass away because they're already dead and they are like literally taking people to hell so you should be scared of anything other than a human being that you see in a room anything other than a human being and an animal yeah, you should be afraid of it, okay? Maybe if it's a like snake or a uh, lion, then maybe that's an animal you could also fear. But really, for good reason why it is that you are fearing a lion. It might just eat you, it might feel intimidated, threatened by you. And so therefore try to eliminate your existence from the face of the earth or something. So be afraid, be very afraid of, 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 of like, you know, wildlife that is, that you're in the territory of. That's what's good. Matter for good reason. But if you like out, you're not being scared like of an entity there are people who pride themselves in not jumping being has character and being out of their minds with like just shakes and everything when they see entities like wizard of oz don't like stop like hey guys jump and has and scream when you see a snake jump and has and scream when you see poltergeist activity just like when you see a snake but when are in these streets you are priding yourself in just like the snake trainer being able to touch a snake and dance with it you then dance with a demon you're piddling out god ain't gonna take you to hell for knowing how to tame a lion god is not gonna take you to hell for knowing how to tame a snake for knowing how to play with snakes being a zookeeper as you're in these streets hanging out with wild animals that don't eat you god is not gonna give you grief when you go and you get a pet tiger in your house and then you proper like you know watch television with it as a grown tiger hey god is not gonna give you grief for that foolish activity it is foolish very well but if you can prosper to successfully tame a wild animal and make it live in your house that's not a condemnable activity let's just put that out there god we might just look at you on some yes you brave one ever since adam and eve fell I have taken away dominion from the human race. That's what's good. I took dominion away from them because by a sign, a lady once. That's what's good. So now animals can eat them. Animals can wreak havoc in their lives. No longer are they like basically above these beasts. These beasts now can trot them underfoot because they send them. So when you out here playing around with a pet lion, you could still go to heaven and God be like, you're a fool. After you fell, you ought have known that this guy is going to eat you one day. But ain't no God going to let you into no heaven. When you out here playing with a pet demon, like it's not happening. Like when you pass away because the demon done finished you off, you are not even going to be able to negotiate for your stay. guys. Forget it. Inside the heavenlies over there, you ain't hanging out when you're hanging out with demons. But you can't hang out in heaven for eternity when a lion nod away at you because you called yourself the lion whisperer until one day your whispers landed on deaf ears. You can still enter heaven when you mess with wildlife. That is God's creation that groans to see the sons of God revealed because Adam and Eve sinned and now animals can also eat human beings. But nobody's trying to touch, nobody is going inside heaven. Not even one person who passed away because their pet demons went rogue on them. Uh, so when I say be afraid, be very afraid, met the lion sounding, but like the roaring lion that seeks whomever he may devour. Otherwise known as Usatan. 
people who pride themselves in not being scared of ghosts are people who pride themselves who in apart from jesus not being scared of entities of fallen angels of demons because that's all that ghosts are they are a deception they're not human beings they're not dead ancestors no 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 mm -mm. i guess an ancestor is dead that was an ambiguity an oxymoron mara king Oh, no, no, I'm losing my train of thought because I'm busy otherwise known as hair lotion otherwise known as body lotion body lotion body lotion okay guys you know what? we're not doing this you guys uh, the Lord God Almighty does not want you dabbling yes ghosts 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 are not dead people they're not ancestors they are demons they are fallen angels they're demons they're demons they're demons not fallen angels why because fallen angels have got bodies while demons are disembodied spirits of the nephilim it is believed right so they kind of shape shift and transition and spirit form into ghosts and these are the things that also come into your body that possess you when you're actually playing with the ouija board and stuff yeah it's demons okay so ghosts apparitions all those things yeah in spirit form get a demon that's all they are it's not your great your, your dead grandmama or the little girl that died near a church and so every so often she appears to the parishioners during a, a sunday service also if a ghost can hang out in your church without feeling some kind of way if it can hang out in your church without burning if it can hurt and hang out in your church without feeling like getting into an epileptic fit because that's what entities do in the presence of jesus they throw a little boy on the floor and give him a fit Mm. If demons are not busy Archer, having an epileptic fit, guys, in the presence of Christians, it's on 20. That ain't no church, I'm just saying. That ain't no church, it's just a brick and mortar structure. Call it what you want, yo. Call it anything, really. A house, a kitchen. You might even call it aqua cream, but don't call it a church. Because a church is made up of individual members of the body of Christ, and they are indwelt by the Holy Spirit. And demons in the presence of God shudder, they shake, they, they shrivel and they shout and they front and they throw people on the floor with an epileptic fit. If at all you're truly known of God, but if you're not known of God, these demons, they're going to say, Jesus, I know, Peter, I know, but who are you? You will be the seven sons of Skiva on that day. You're going to get slapped silly by some demons. They're going to haunt you. They're going to do apparitionless activity in your household. They will add your open cupboards and close them. Uh, open like shoe boxes. Throw a shoe at you. They will add your brush teeth in the middle of the night. Like Papa opening your, bugging, opening your bathroom door. Switching on the line to go and pee. And then like your toothbrush is like in, in midair. It's just kind of brushing the teeth of a demon. That's what they'll do. They won't even scatter when you switch on the light the way that cockroaches do. Because cockroaches are creation that groans to see the sons of God revealed. Entities, when they're not scared of you, they don't even scatter when you rock up. If anything, they become more brazen. That's what's good. Mm. So if you're hanging out in a chizite, otherwise known as a church, otherwise also known as a mere big a brick and a mortar structure that has been made in different like a plaster of Paris, Mamelang, eh, Asikarek. If your church has got poltergeist activity, it ain't no church. Nah. If your church has got some little ghost chick that parishioners can see, it ain't no church. Because anybody at all that is filled by the Holy Spirit ought to make this thing shut up. Throw something on the floor with an epileptic fit. It should say, What? Do you want with us, a son of man? Don't take us to that place. It's not your time. They should have some kind of negative reaction. It should get boils. It should start to get kind of hot. I ah, see. Because it's like volcanic activity, molten lava type vibes. To happen upon the Holy Spirit as a demon. It's not safe. It's like hydrochloric acid on the skin of a human being. It burns. Um, so if at all some demons are you hanging out. And when you look at them, they be walking closer to you. Ever to. Mm. How to be just so good? Because they should shudder. They should be scared, be afraid, be very afraid. They should be scrummaging. They should be hiding in little corners. They should be doing everything in their power to get as far away from you as possible. You might even get all sleepy, like hard knock, because some demons only come out with fasting and prayer. So the stubborn kind will make you kind of lethargic, eh? Oh, what the while I'm depressed. Yeah, because they recognize you're a child of God and all they can do is poke and prod away at you. But just leave you be, la di da, hanging on a hard, swinging on a hammock, libala. If they're helping you swing on a hammock, you ain't saved and you ain't in no church. And so really and truly, those occult practitioners that are busy hanging around churches Sunday after Sunday after Sunday, 
and they're not busy getting thrown on the floor with epileptic fits. I get to book those people don't know God, they play they praise him with their lips, but their hearts are far from him. So all of y'all in the lip busy with me like Ouija board chanting lifestyles. Occult activity 24 hours a day, la loya di chomiza lona little witiking nisan gana lion to Hey, allow me to communicate to you, lady chica, sister, but chica but like brother chica, brother duda. Mmm, halapulus. Sorry, I'm not a halapulus, halapulus are gonna yeah, that's true. But what I wanted to say is the character that you get like jokes. Your churches are out there in these streets being the joke. You must be joking. You must be jo joking. Get you gotta go to black man patina in a Sunday service. But I did game me. It's not the real deal. Because ain't no witch supposed to be successfully hanging out in any real fervent consecrated church of the lord jesus christ with super prayerful saints in it that are actually doing the job of the lord that is not going to be agitated in some way you should not be able to sit around as a witch as on twain you shouldn't there's nothing agreeable over there uh, this is hair growth oil guys and i'm gonna put it in my thing in my bobby let me just read to you what's in this like monstrosity I go tell like I'll fill out only a little bit. It's got so be soybean oil, it's got olive oil, it has got wheat germ oil, it's got coconut oil, it has got jojoba oil, it has got grapeseed oil, it has got avocado oil, uh, it has got vitamins B B2, D, A, E, K, and potassium. It has got flaxseed oil, it has got horsetail extract, it's got silk amino acids, it's got um wheat protein it has got uh so bean protein hydrolyzed oat protein it has got vegetable purple blah blah some other like stuff then that speaks about coloring and preservatives a oh, beautiful just a little bit not too much because this cream over here this oil is the beast that makes my hair violence never mind violent just violence yeah it makes my hair violence okay cool and it smells lovely we want perfume Funny perfume, and then this is olive avocado oil for cooking. That's why I keep it because I don't want to mix. Mom uses it uses it to cook. I just want a little bit of it, and it's raw form in jalo. Just put it there. Hey, so I blame South Africa. Okay, South Africa has enabled a whole bunch of randos to walk around the Santa like a smudge. Banga banga bank. Lavanta ba bank. They are out there not getting busted. They're not getting caught. Ain't nobody happening upon them. They're able to even make like shaggy and say it wasn't me. Mm. What not? Cause the go to get regang like Grace Bible Church Rima. Where it's a Saraki Sigi Joku. Doctrines of demons and destructive heresies are being taught at the pulpit. And witches are able to go there Sunday after Sunday after Sunday without being thrown on the floor. I'm sorry. If at all you were to happen upon a real Christian, that's when you get thrown on, on the floor. That's why you all persecuted the living daylights out of me. I went and joined a church, a Baptist church, thinking that uh, Rima, Le Grace are all watered down. You know what I mean? And I, I, I entered into this church that was a lot more sound in doctrine. I was a prayerful Christian. And within a couple of months, I had been entirely and comprehensively excommunicated from a church despite being entirely innocent. Why? Because there was a coven operating in the church. And in my presence, they couldn't deal so much so that they got thrown on the floor with epileptic fits. And so, like, got me excommunicated, fulfilling, therefore, John 16. It is written in John 16 that the day is coming when those who persecute you will do so thinking they're doing a service to God. A. So if in your climate, in your presence, real Christians, uh, sorry, uh, fake Christians, witches, are not out just spazzing, oozing pus, all day long, they like, oh, me no wanna go home. If demons are not busy saying, de, me said 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 de, they like come and me no wanna go home why me no wanna go home with carabo they like come and me no wanna go home bearing fruit this one she be banana they like come and me no wanna go home she praying fasting seven foot now they like come and me no wanna go home why I stick around but me no see banana they like come and me no wanna go home she bring in day me said day me said day me said day in the dark 
she be bringing day yo daylight come and me no wanna go home be hanging out in the strange church forever daylight come and me no wanna go home i've been comfortable with preacher preaching rubbish daylight come and me no wanna go home then one day this stupid woman come and she fellowship daylight come and you I wanna go home next day i be shaking shuddering me getting shiva daylight come and me no wanna go home she bring day me said day, me said day, me said day, me said day, oh kara a a bo. Daylight come, this woman bring me go home. Day! She bring torch on my darkness, now I go to go, me no wanna go home. Daylight come and me no wanna go home. I'm gonna go and pass a cute hussy if she can't leave church. Oh. Daylight come and me no wanna go home. I am gonna scratch her out and make everybody pass a cute toe. Oh. Daylight come and me no wanna go home. She will leave and to Wally forget bearing the banana. Daylight come and me no wanna go home. She will leave and stop acting like a blue bear oh, they let come and me know hey, that demons are just be singing them he said they they no one go home when you come in a demon is like they me said they oh they start saying they why <laughs> because christians bring day in darkness in the darkness if at all you walk into a church and witches the entities are not on some day me said that me said that me said that me said that she bring day hey, hey, you daylight come and me no wanna go home they don't wanna go if ain't no entity saying me said day honey you ain't saved <laughs> your church is useless and i went to a baptist church and all of those gangsters that start singing me said day hey, hey, you i was like ay 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 what's going on so now I'm out here worshiping in my own bedroom. I'm in a santo. I'm persecuted. Nobody's trying to help a sister along. And you don't think the earth has been filled with people that are literally causing entities to be like, they, they say they. I say no. Hey, about you, when you're kicking Christians out the earth, you out here shadow banning the living dead out of them on YouTube. You're ransacking our futures. Because you don't want to go home. And now the earth is like out just singing like get beetle juice. Eh? They like home and me won't want to go home. If demons are not shuddering, honey, you ain't say that basic. If they're not out just screaming, what do you want with us, a son of man? Hey, if demons are not singing, me say they. No. Hello, Polos. Kyon and Ton and Fela and Jeffela, I get three put on there. Hello, Polos on there. Ain't no redemption up in that monster. So. If you pride yourself in being in a church and proper demons are not saying miss a day but they are walking towards you you're smiling at the demon it's talking to you you think it's a ghost of a little girl that passed away near the church <laughs> me said that hey, daylight come and me no wanna go home one day you gonna be six foot seven foot eight foot drop into the ground when you go to the abyss so you go wonder why you no listen to garabo daylight come and me no wanna go home why did i not go and listen to lirama la garabo i don't wanna go home she's a christian the woman is walking up for jesus if your demons are not recognizing a sister if they're not recognizing a brother if they're not recognizing anybody yeah, nobody here is saved eh? nobody here is redeemed just rubbish and a circus eh? so this woman is actually hanging out in a church okay and no demon is saying deo if anything she's busy saying to this demon come hang with me she's singing that thing where's the holy spirit that is not warding this misa day or thing where is god in a church where demons are able to just appear to parishioners 
So people who pride themselves, <laughs> you need to know what to pride yourself in. God says that. Paul, as he is led by the Holy Spirit, says that boast as much as you want and so far as you're boasting in Christ. You need to boast in Christ. If at all you're not scared of demons, boast only because those demons shudder at the name of Jesus whom you serve. That's the only time that you can start to boast. But when you boast about being a ghost hunter, Ghostbusters! Dum, 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 dum. Ghostbusters! When you boast in the fact that everybody else where you live is scared of the thing that's making things go bump in the night in your mother's kitchen. Except for you. Girl! Why is that? If you're a Christian, then yeah, go boast that I was the Sabi D dingus. Crunch up, if at all you're a Christian, in a household of a poltergeist, the moment you move in, they move out. The moment you move in, they move out. They cannot stand the presence of the Holy Spirit. They don't just stick around. They don't just hang in. Like, you know, whenever I watch these ghost shows, I always ask myself, I wonder what would happen if I walked in there, having the Holy Spirit and everything inside me. What would happen to these entities if I just decided to just merely rock up or walk by, never mind walk in, just walk by that haunted house. There would be a heat that they feel and it would cause them to want to ward off the person bringing them that heat or neutralize them or water them down that they don't have all that heat. That's why persecution happens in the life of a Christian whenever they are in an environment that is very severely demonically oppressed. If these demons first try to ward us out, take us out of the door, remove us. That's what happened to, my, to me in my old church. And if they can't remove us, they gotta go. They gotta go. So that church, frankly, I was a blessing to them. But they gonna treat me like rubbish, why? Because as soon as I rocked up, they Guys, what happens when you put sunscreen in hair? I don't know. Whatever. Because this is a, both a body and a hair moisturizer. Have I put everything in here? Have I? Have I? Yeah, one only one last thing in short down that I want to put in here. Well, not one last thing. It's actually a second last thing. This is a hair butter, but I'm also putting some of it in my body lotion for all the nutrients that are in there because it's got shea butter in it. And I want that on my body. And the rest of it, I will be using it as a treatment on um, her. Let me just read you the ingredients. Uh, it's got water, um, soybean oil, propylene glycol, olive oil, sachet butter, coconut oil, um, what? Yo, jojoba oil. It's got avocado oil. It has got ginseng root extract, rosemary, leaf extract, horsetail extract. It has got um, tea tree oil. Uh, I'm trying to read the more understandable. Day. And then hydro hydrogenated ve vegetable oil. And then all these other things that I don't understand that I'm not going to read to you guys. It's a hair butter and it's lovely. But I also put those things on my body. So that's what we're looking at. What else is missing, Lana? Sunscreen. Yeah, let's add sunscreen. Okay, so let's carry on talking. Yes. Okay, so this lady at the. Um, and like coco cola, you know? What does this thing smell like? It's sunscreen. It smells like sunscreen. You know how sunscreen smells so sunscreeny. Anyway, whatever. Mm. Yeah, this lady, I'm trying to add SPF to this whole thing. This lady out here rapping on, you know, about how it is that um she saw a ghost in the church and 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 like she like she smiled at it and it came in and, and chilled next to her. Therefore representing the kinds of people that pride themselves. In, in basically not being scared of entities uh, and the witches, witches, just like that foolish parishioner in that foolish church that was not preaching the gospel. And so entities did not feel intimidated to, to, to work around that area. Uh, demons were able to just kind of manifest in that particular ecosystem, evidencing the lackluster nature of the actual, like, you know, establishment, the church. This woman is similar to witches. Even though in and of herself she was not a witch, she's similar to them. They pride themselves in not being scared of things that people ought be scared of, absent of having the Holy Spirit. When you do not have Jesus, you should be scared of certain things. You should. Everybody should be scared of a ghost, for crying out loud. Because you don't know what in the world to do with it. You cannot touch it with your own fingers. You cannot actually tell it, go away. There's nothing you can do to a ghost to make it not hurt you. To make it not haunt you. To make it not afflict you. So when you're not scared of it, why? Why? It's like not being scared of an impending bullet. You should be. If at all, you are dead in trespasses and sins. And so when you pass away, you go to hell. Everybody on earth should be scared of death. Absent of redemption. Everybody. 
so people who claim that they're not scared of death or who say they're not scared to die you should be if at all you don't know jesus because where you go when you die is just absolutely horrific do you understand it is terrible it is an eternity of anguish and torment so you should be scared of stray bullets in the street when you don't know jesus you should be scared of cars driving too fast when you don't know jesus you should be scared of driving too fast when you don't know jesus you should be scared of drinking too much alcohol when you don't know jesus you should be scared of cigarettes when you don't know jesus you should be scared of toxins in the sky gases you should be scared of acid on your face when you don't know jesus you should be scared of uh, air and, and, and like just basically getting out of your house you should have a fear of living when you don't know Jesus. You should be scared to get on an airplane lest it should crash when you don't know Jesus because the end of your life is a most tormentive encounter. You are going to be met with a holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, right? God that is going to tell you, no, not on my turf, you don't get to stay. A God that's going to tell you, nah, hide it, you don't know me, I don't know you, depart from me, work of iniquity. And then you're going to be put in that place where there is weeping and gnashing of teeth for all of eternity and the smoke of your torment will rise up forever. People should know what to be afraid of and they should, upon being afraid of it, then find the cure for that fear. And so therefore end up fearing nobody but the one who can not only rescue you from that fear but also subdue you to it subjugate you to the tyranny of that fear by incarcerating you for eternity to the fear in other words hellfire like you should be afraid of one person and one person only and if you do not know him you should be afraid literally of everything else you should be afraid of everything else. So when you pride yourself in not being scared of demons, when you don't know Jesus, girl, what you gonna use for that thing? Sage? What you gonna use for that thing? A seance? What you gonna use for that thing? Like random funny little magic sand around your house and your bed? What you gonna use for that thing? Oh, try song, my my tambo. You gonna do a ritual? You book via la girl. All the best. I'm waiting. Let's see how long that lasts. Let's see if at all this like haunting of yours really goes away. People who are busy calling mediums into houses that have got hauntings. Hey, batu. Where's the long I think you are just calling another spiritist, another like witchcraft practitioner into your house when you've got a witchcraft issue. <laughs> Fighting fire with fire, trying to cast out bills above with bills above. A kingdom divided cannot stand, you guys. I'm just saying, kingdom divided, I want to bloom. Cannot hang out, it cannot chill, it cannot make like a flower. Anyway, how it about anything? So you can't cast out no satan away, no more satan. So stop being like the guy with the fly, the bioscope, the moving. I just feel like we need to talk, okay? This lady on Cora, as you're talking about how a ghost went and chilled next to her king. My question is, oh, your church is fluffy. What are you doing in there? Leave because really and truly, you ought to leave. You ought to escape. You ought to run away. You ought to be afraid, be very afraid, but you're not afraid. Witches are like ghost hunters. They're like these randos that pride themselves in not being scared of that which scares everybody else. And in so not being scared, keep on experimenting with like these entities until they reach singularity with them. They merge with demons and then they become like the guy walk with the movie, The Fly. You merge with an entity until you are the entity. Until you're so far gone, until you're so demon possessed, until you're so totally taken over that can't nobody recognize Jabu anymore. Can't nobody see where Levato at. Hey, okay, I need to find out where Peter at. Cause ain't no Peter left in this room. It's hollow, it's empty, it's not, it's ash. Peter is falling deep into a rabbit hole of a demon possession that he, with his soul, is screaming to get out of, but ain't nobody hearing because he is so buried behind demonic possession. That is wishes for you. That is people who are experiment with the occult. You're like the guy in the movie The Fly. In the end, you are a menacing thing that your girlfriend gotta shoot dead. Why? Because you can't live anymore. There's nothing left of you anymore. Because you experimented with teleportation until some insect entered your teleportation machine and then you DED did. Now, you had to be killed because l nothing of you is left. Nothing, all, all that's left is for your soul to be taken and thrown into an eternal dustbin because you buried yourself behind demons. Let's move to the next part.